For over 10 years, fans of My 600 Pound Life have tuned in to watch the outrageous and difficult weight loss journey of some of the most morbidly obese people in the country. But perhaps no other cast member added more spectacle the way Season 5 alum, Steven Asante did, drawing a lot of criticism due to his abrasive personality and annoying tantrums. Once tipping the scales at almost 800 pounds, Steven featured on the final two episodes of the fifth season of the TLC series with his brother Justin. He did eventually get weight loss surgery, though as expected, it was a rocky road filled with cheat meals, tantrums, and even a painkiller addiction. Following continuous speculations surrounding Steve's untimely demise, let's see what happened to the former reality star. Refuting rumors regarding his brother's death, Justin took to Facebook and Reddit to clear the air on February 16th. I need to address more of this stuff again. Messages, phone calls, news articles, and the production company, he wrote. Steven Asante did not pass away. He is alive and in his apartment. Explaining further about his dynamic with his brother, Justin added, I have no direct contact with him, but my father does, and they talk every night. Hopefully this message will reach those making the news articles, phone calls, and messages. Justin's post came in response to a false report about his estranged sibling's death, which strangely came from his own official Instagram account, and was verified by a family friend. The post stated, Stephen Asante has passed away yesterday. His heart gave out. We ask that you please respect the privacy of his family. Thank you. Concerned TLC viewers were shocked by the tragic news, which began circulating all over media like wildfire. Stephen himself later commented that his account was hacked. Despite having a massive fallout with his brother and not even being on speaking terms, Justin still felt compelled to respond to reports of his brother's alleged death, which implies that he cares not only about his sibling, but also feels responsibility toward all the fans who watch them together navigate their weight loss journeys on the popular series. This isn't the first time Steven has been embroiled in a death hoax. During the 2021 Christmas season, the TV personality was rumored to be on his deathbed after testing positive for COVID-19. He was reportedly rushed to the hospital, when the lingering symptoms of the illness became too overwhelming for his body. It was later revealed that he was also battling a pretty serious bout of pneumonia, making his situation far worse. Although My 600 Pound Life aims to capture the inspiring stories of its cast members, the reality is, the people on the show are often in very poor health. Sadly, more than a dozen of Dr. Now's patients have lost their lives amidst their transformative journeys, with many dying as a result of their obesity. Hence, it wasn't hard for viewers to believe the rumors of Steven's demise, given his bad health and obesity issues. And the TV personality's various antics have only made matters worse. In recent times, Steven has been uploading bizarre posts and then swiftly deleting them. In one such post, he made frantic pleas for money from his fans, just days after informing his followers in early February that his journey was nearly over because he was dying and didn't know how much time he had left. Prayer warriors, I feel like my journey is coming to an end soon. Prayers are welcomed, he wrote. I'm now dealing with fluid around my heart, which was found on an x-ray, which scares me. And now I have to live in fear every day, wondering how long I truly have to live. I love you all, even my haters. Goodbye for now. We hope Steven takes learning from this and turns around his life for good by taking accountability for his actions and changing his abrasive and bad attitude. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.